Hey YouTube, your favorite YouTuber here, Ian Press 48 here, and welcome back to another episode of Diecast 160 for comparison. This is episode number three, and this is pretty much going to be the most ironic episode of this series because this is pretty much going to be based on the 80s. As of right now, while filming on January 12, 20, uh, 2021, it's 1.28 p.m. right now, in the time of this filming, I'm watching the 1988 Daytona 500. The background, most of my CDs are 80s. And if you guys don't know me, I'm a huge 80s fan of music. It's my all-time favorite music decade. I just think it's very iconic, nostalgic, and memorable. And, of course, so was NASCAR back then. And that's what's going on today. We're going to be comparing... Uh, these two similar iconic schemes different drove uh, driven by two different drivers What is it? Let's find out first off here. We got Tim Richmond's 1986 uh, Folger Chevy Monte Carlo from Hendrick Motorsports part of the 100th win um, Of Hendrick Motorsports set Here's a little 360 Of Tim Richmond's 1986. He got his first Hendrick win at Pocono back in 86 and another Hendrick car it's gonna be on Ken Trader's 1988 Folgers uh, Chevy Monte Carlo of course from Hendrick Motorsports same set he got his first career Cup Series win and his fir first Hendrick win at Talladega back in 88 so a little 360 of this beauty as well. And so what is this about? In this episode, of course, we're going to be taking a look at these similar schemes and see what is the difference between uh, Tim Richmond's 1986 car and Ken Schrader's 1988 car. With that being said, let's begin. Hopefully this goes well because I don't want my phone to drop. So anyway... So what's going on here with the left side? Of course, the 25 fonts are different. You got Folgers, um, Tim Richmond had Exxon Motor Oils, Ken Schrader has Superflow Motor Oil, and another small sponsor underneath it. Uh, crap, it's out of focus. Okay, I think it says Care? No, it's not, I don't know. Uh, this part, I don't really know. And on the A post, you got the Hendrick Motorsports logo. And on Traders, you got the AC uh, Bolt logo. And right here, you got TG, uh, ARP, Gun, other small sponsors I can't really see. On Traders, Traders has more sponsors. You got. ARP Obers. I can't really tell. And like I said, the 25 fonts are different. And you got the 1980s uh, contingency sponsors. Here's Tim Richmond's 86 sponsor and Ken Schrader's sponsor, uh, contingency sponsors. And then here you got more contingency sponsors over here. I think Tim Richmond has more contingency sponsors than Ken Schrader did. On the hood, you got on the hood you got TG Shepherds. I think that's the country singer. Uh, you got uh, some Mountain uh, Mountain Grown, I think. You got Folgers coffee machines for both. Chevy logo on Schrader, and Tim Richmond's grill is black. Ken Schrader's. Grill is painted red. Tim Richmond has two uh, headlights. Schrader has one. And same side as the left for these two cars. I'm sorry for going out of focus. And then on the back, you got Fogers on both. You got one of the number 25s for Schrader. And Tim Richmond's, you got a gray spoiler. With two twenty fives on the rear on the tail lights, and Folgers 
Schrader has a black spoiler. And then let's look at the roof. Same thing. Um, different fonts of the number 25, Tim Richmond and Ken Schrader's. All right. So. So those are the difference between Tim Richmond's 1986 and Ken Schrader's 1988 Fogers cars. And if I were to pick which one is better, honestly, I would go for Tim Richmond's car. I think it looks better. Uh, Richmond had more sponsors than Schrader. And I, th and I love the look of the black grill with the two headlights. Uh, not... I'm uh, not sure how I feel with the gray spoiler. I think the black spoiler looks better. And also, back in the late 80s, I think, or mid-80s, I think these were called the Aero Coupes. Because I think back then they had the Aero Wars. Uh, because cars, because it was like different manufacturers, aerodynamics. And as you can see, Schrader had that as well. And the thing I like about Schrader's car is the back spoiler. And... Regardless... Of which one is better. I still like these schemes. The Fulger schemes are iconic. And they're just. They're just both good looking. However. I do prefer Tim Richmond's scheme. Better. So with that being said. What do you guys think. Uh, which car do you think is better. Tim Richmond's 1986 Fulgers. Or Ken Schrader's 1988 Fulgers. What do you guys prefer better? Please tell me in the links in the, uh, I mean in the comments below. That's going to do it for today's episode. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Diecast Comparison 164s. This is the third episode. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts in the link in the description below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Thank you guys for supporting Ian Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.